I'm the Calculus Professor and today I'll be talking to you about Taylor Series. Welcome back. Today I'd like to talk about section 9.3 on Taylor Series and we'd like to start with problem number 9. And In problem 9 we'd like to find the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for the function f of x is equal to e to the minus x. Then we'd like to write the power series using summation notation. Okay, so we're going to start out by finding the first four non-zero terms, and then we're going to write the power series using summation notation. All right, so <clears throat> the first thing that I do when I'm trying to find a Maclaurin series or a Taylor series is I write down the function. So I write down f of x is equal to, in this case, e to the negative x. And then what I want to do is I just want to take a bunch of derivatives of that function, okay? Uh, so there are a couple steps to finding a Taylor series or finding a Maclaurin series. And uh, if you just take it one step at a time, it's really not that hard. What becomes difficult is when you start mixing up the steps. So the first thing you do, take a bunch of derivatives of the function. So we get f prime of x is negative e to the negative x. We get f double prime of x is equal to, well, the derivative would be e to the minus x. f triple prime of x is negative e to the negative x. And I think we get the pattern here. It's just going to flip back and forth between negatives and positives. Okay, so now that I've got a few derivatives written down, the second thing I want to do is I want to plug in the a value or the center value of my power series and in this case we know it's a Maclaurin series and what Maclaurin series means is that a is equal to zero. So we have that a is equal to zero and so what I want to do is I want to plug in a to each of these derivatives. So I, what I want is I want to know what is f of zero, what's f prime of zero, What's f double prime of zero? What's f triple prime of zero? Well, f of zero is e to the negative zero, or e to the zero, which is one. f prime of zero is negative e to the negative zero, which is negative one. Then we get e to the zero, which is one. And then we get negative e to the zero, which is negative one and we start to see the pattern. It's just going to be 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, and so on. All right, uh, so now we need to remember what is the form of a Taylor series, or what is the form of a Maclaurin series, and the form looks something like this, that f of x is going to be equal to, well, <clears throat> it's the function f evaluated at a, over 0 factorial times x minus a to the 0 power plus f prime of a over 1 factorial times x minus a to the first plus f double prime of a over 2 factorial times x minus a squared and we just keep going. All right, so this is what we want to use to help us write the first four terms of our Maclaurin series in this case. So our f of x is equal to, well, f of a. a in this case is zero. And so we said, what's f of zero? Well, it's one. So we get one divided by zero factorial. Zero factorial is also one. And then we get x minus zero, or just x, to the zero which is one times one. Okay, so we get one over one times one, that's one, but we'll rewrite it in a second. Plus, then we get f prime of a. In this case, a is zero, and f prime of zero, we said, was negative one. So we get, instead of a plus here, I'll write minus one over one factorial, one factorial, of course, is one, times x minus zero. So x minus zero is just x to the first. The next one would be plus f double prime of zero. f double prime of zero is one, 
So plus 1 over 2 factorial, 2 factorial, times x minus 0, which is x squared. And I'm starting to see the pattern here. The next one is going to be minus, minus 1 over 3 factorial times x minus 0 cubed plus and so on. And so here are the first four terms of my Maclaurin series and if I want to write them um, a little <coughs> better simplified, this first one is just 1. Then I get minus 1 over 1 is 1 so it's just minus x. Then I get plus x squared over 2 factorial minus x cubed over 3 factorial. And we could even see how it goes from here. Then it would be plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial minus x to the 5th over 5 factorial and so on. Alright, so we were able to write the first four terms of this Maclaurin series. In fact, they're right here. Those are the first four terms. The very last thing that this problem asks us to do is please write the power series using summation notation. But that's just going back to, okay, now that we know all of this, how could I just write this as a sum? So I'll say this is the sum in going from zero to infinity. And let's look at what happens here. Every term we switch signs. So I need a negative 1 raised to the n power. And is it n or is it n plus 1? That's something that we should definitely ask. If I plug in n equals 0, I get z negative 1 to the 0 power, which is 1. So the first term should be positive, and it is. So we're good there. So this gets the alternating part down. On the bottom, I always have n factorial. So this is divided by n factorial, and then I have x raised to the n power times x to the n power. And so I've written this power series, or this Maclaurin series in this case, as um, a summation notation.